Hello, hello. Thank you for joining. I have quite a large HLJ box. This is... I'm trying to think, I don't even think it's that much time. It's just that that much Sabre stuff has come out and will continue for the rest of the month. It's kind of insane. Um, Josh Perry. Hello, Josh Perry. So, yes, this is going to be a big one. Hello, Not Ultra. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Oop, let's mute that. All right. Let's go ahead and get started here. Adam Prime, thank you for joining. Welcome, welcome. Go ahead and get into this. So, actually, you know what? Before we get into this, I'm going to show off a few other things. Hello, Cyber Extreme. Welcome. Master Far. Soto doing another zero one one figure this week. <laughs> Mr. Bomber Holmes, thank you. Welcome. Did they already unveil it, or they just unveiled that it's going to be zero one? one In any case, um, I finally got In Space Yellow. So that arrived from Hasbro Pulse. Um, MMPR Black should be here very soon. So, boop, got that. And then once, I already have Tommy, so once I get MMPR Black, I'll do all three of these. And then I think I got the replacement helmet for Dino Thunder White, so once I confirm I have that, I'll do a separate video for that as well. They just showed off Zero One Shooting Wolf, one of the concept art forms. Oh, okay. Interesting. I wonder if it's going to be um, that Naki and Assault Wolf combo thing that they had for about like five seconds in the episode. So I also got, let me pull these stickers off, uh, this magazine with the Kiva ride book, Kiva Wonder ride book rather. Um, so. I don't want to show too much from this magazine because apparently that's a big deal now. What is this for? Is it going to show me what book this is? Oh, this is the Three Little Pigs. Oh, that's hilarious. So his shoulder pad is a pig with a snout. And then his forearm is like the different kinds of material that the homes were built out of. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, this ninja guy, he's supposed to be in the episode tomorrow, right? He looks pretty cool. So I'm not going to sit here and, and look through a magazine that I can't show you, but magazine. Yo, Hassan, what's up, buddy? Thanks for joining. Power Rider, hello, hello. Uh, Cyber Extreme, are you going to get Kamen Rider Saber RKF-03 Espada, Kamen Rider Saber Buster, and Kenzon? Yes. I will be getting all of those. Hello, Orville. Thank you for joining. Richard, hello, hello. Thank you guys all for joining. Uh, the other magazine that I got... Let me take the rubber bands off of it. Um, this one is like a super uh, Tetami Kun, like, Earth Graner edition. And it comes with this pretty large uh, pack-in. And I think what you get is this um, translucent blue car. But you also get this, like... Let's see, they call it uh, Core Graner Tomica Books. Okay. Oh, no, here we go. Core Graner Tomica. It just says it holds nine of them. So, anyway, it's like this little box, and you can kind of see over here. So, I don't know, this might be cool. Um, I'll have to see how stable it is but i guess it's in here and i have to put it together so those are the two magazines that i got so i'll probably review them sometime soon and then i got in space yellow how am i i'm very good orville thank you for asking how are you doing how's my day not too bad not too bad i'm about to open up a giant box of toys so it's about to get even better yo what's up code a i can confirm inferno is the best part of energon okay I got Time Force, 
red, SPD red, and MMPR blue lightning figures last night. Excellent. Very cool. Alright, let's see if I can... I'm going to have to bend this down and not take out my camera, hopefully. This is quite a large box. Packing material, packing material. Just try not to lose the knife. It's a lot of packages. This is like one of those uh, magician scarves. <laughs> this is crazy. Hello, Marvelous Prime. Welcome, thank you for joining. I'm not gonna have anywhere to put toys. This is ridiculous. It never ends. My GameStop had the re-release Goldar and Rita, Lord Zed 2-pack, and the Red Ranger helmet. Oh, okay. That's a lot of good stuff. How far in are you in your Power Rangers rewatch? Um, I just started Samurai. I watched, like, the first disc because each disc only has four episodes now because all they did was repack all the volumes together. So I watched the first disc, so four episodes into Samurai. Yeah, these air pouches are out of control, Adam. Like... It's crazy. Did you see all this? It's literally a pile like this next to me. I can't even get past it. I could make a bubble house. You know, three Seiko Blues? Were they like $2 a piece? That's what they're going for now, right? All right, so. One last one. Oh, two last ones. Apparently, I just ordered a box of these. All right, let's get to what's in the box. So, first up, over here, we have some Earth Graner Tomicas. We have Buffalo Tomica and the GTR Tomica. So that's good. Uh, I think I'm pretty caught up. I have Buffagator. Obviously, this is going to go with that. And then um, this is the power-up for red, and I already showed off the Supra. So that is the power-up for... Uh, blue. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's those. This I bought on a whim, um, but this is a, a Saber and Zero One calendar. Every year I see them, and I'm like, you know what? I should just get a calendar. They're like 12 bucks or whatever, and I'm like, I should just go for it. So I finally did it. Here it is. Got my calendar. Earth Grander. Oh, yeah, that's right. Pop the bubble. I could. I think I'm going to have to. I'm running out of space. My GameStop has a lot of Psycho Blues. Yes, they are plentiful. Oh, here's one more Earth Grander. We got Drift Thunder. Boom. Um, okay, we have a Ultra Vinyl. This is smaller than I thought it would be. This is kind of hilarious. Um, what is this guy's name? Bolton. So he is a little Ultraman like sea anemone or something <laughs> i don't know he's kind of tiny and adorable i kind of love him so there's that guy he's cool uh we have the daigo speedy wonder ride book that transforms into the motorcycle this is pretty tiny but i like it so we'll see how this goes um we have the uh Raime Ken, is that what it's called? That's what his sword's called, Raime. Raime Ken, Ikazuchi Emblem, and Lamp Du Alangina? Alangina? What the hell? Wonder Ride Book. Is that what that's called? I, it's like Aladdin based, right? Lamp Du Alangina. Okay. Got it. Hello, Jacob. Thanks for joining. I'm all right. Ultra vinyl or stress ball. It does kind of look like a stress ball. The spot is gorgeous and famous. Hello, Estuval. I think his book is supposed to be based on Aladdin. Josh could probably correct me if I'm wrong. Um, all right, now we have the DX Storm Eagle Wonder Ride book. I can say that one. Boom. St 
Storm Eagle. Hello, Dark Omen. Next up, we have some DX Ultra Metals. This is uh, Zero Beyond, Jeed, and Belial Atrocious. <laughs> supposed to be atrocious but it always makes me laugh on the show that he says atrocious uh, so we can form Delta Rise Claw so that's good stuff uh, speaking of um, Rider Kicks figures here is Blades so once again we have the uh, I like this timeline they put on the side I think that's pretty cool I wonder if they will eventually get to somebody else. Because they've pretty much fin finished double at this point. So we'll see how that goes. I need to watch Super Ninja Steel. Do you though? Do you? The Magic Carpet in Episode 2 tells me it's alive. Yeah, that's, I agree. I agree. All right, what else do we have here? Where, where do we go next? Where do I, where do I go next? All right, let's see. Um, we have the Ride Book Hondana. Home is book. Donna, maybe case, maybe? I don't, know. I don't know what it means. But anyway, it's the extra bookshelf pieces. I got two of those. So I can make myself a bookshelf. Um, this should be the one that comes with zero one. So this has the zero one book. And the other two are just... Um, just the bookshelf. I don't really know what makes them DX, but they're labeled as DX. <laughs> well, if you want to, I won't discourage you. Go in with an open mind. Don't fall over. You're going to fall over. I'm just going to put you down because it's going to fall. Alright, next up we have... Oh, sweet. We have a uh, Diaclone. We have the DA55 Vers Riser Unit Zero Two. I thought this looked pretty cool. So it's a little core um, that you can put some like you can add some tires to to give him kind of a core like truck mode. And then he's got this giant trailer with massive guns. And then you can add the guns to any of the other robots that you have. So he looks pretty cool. Uh, we have another Diaclone. So these are Diaclone Combat Chronicle Volume 3. And they're made to look like books, kind of. Uh, but basically, it's just like a little kit. You put this thing together. Um, I don't even know if this comes with a pilot or not. It might not. It's just funny to me. Like This is basically like a little kit. Uh, it makes this unit here, which is kind of like a vehicle for the little figures to ride in on their own. But also it transforms into like add-on pieces to the other robots. Uh, you know, like a missile backpack and gun backpack, things like that. Um, but for like as little as this is by itself, this was still like 30 bucks. But the box is like heavy duty, like it's crazy. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, Alright, it looks like we have another Wonder Ride book. We have Needle Hedgehog. So that's sweet. I've been having a ton of fun with these, so I'm really excited. I'm probably going to do reviews for all of the Wonder Ride book stuff first just because I really like it. Uh, here we have probably my last mistake as far as Transformers Masterpiece is concerned. We have Tigatron. So I pre-ordered this a while ago and I thought about canceling it because I really think I'm getting out of the game when it comes to Masterpiece figures. But I really like Tigatron. I like White Tiger since I was a kid. It's like one of my favorite animals. And I love his color scheme, the white and the green. Plus, I really like the character of Tigatron. I know we're probably going to get one in Kingdom, so this seems, you know, kind of stupid to spend this money. But um, the other thing is he's based on the Cheetor mold, which I know is a good mold and doesn't really have a lot of, like, fragile pieces to break off. So I kind of felt like this was a decent last one to buy. So I have Tigatron. I don't know if I'm going to open it or not, but this will probably be the last masterpiece that I buy. I just don't, I just don't do anything with it anymore. I just kind of buy them and store them. It's kind of stupid, but yeah, I agree. They're just getting too expensive, and they're getting over-engineered to the point that they just break. 
So, like, that star screen they just showed looks beautiful, but it's like 250 bucks. I'm just like, eh, I'm done. I have a star screen. I like it. It's fine. I mean, I have, you know, this star screen here, and I love it. So, it's from Earthrise, and it's cheap and fun. Dinosaurs type Earth Grinder is coming in November. Yes, I've seen that. If you're current with the show, he's been in the last two episodes of the show. It's pretty cool. I like it. I mean, I'm a sucker for dinosaurs anyway, but they did a nice job with it. It looks pretty good. Uh, you put bookshelf on a bookshelf. That's true. I will put a bookshelf on a bookshelf. It's very meta. I've seen a little bit of Super Ninja Steel. I feel like it is as bad as Overdrive, a dumpster fire on top of a dumpster fire. <laughs> I mean, honestly... I think Overdrive was decent. I think Super Ninja Steel was meh. I wouldn't say any of them are dumpster fires. They're just very low rent, you know, the, the cheapest common denominator kid show. Not so much Overdrive, but Ninja Steel. I just feel like it's very lazy. Uh, next up we have Soto. Is this just called Ride Book or just Book? Soto Book 1 for Saber featuring Common uh, Rider Zero One. Very heavily featuring Kamen Rider Zero One. It's basically just Saber and Blades and then uh, three Zero One characters. So I'm totally behind on these. I still need to do 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I'm going to try to do those. I really need to get caught up on these because I want to get into these. So, well, I mean, there's a hundred things I'd like to do. Uh, next up, we have the DX. What is this actually called? Kira Full Go Arrow? Kira Full Go Arrow? Alright. It's a little Condor Arrow thing that gives them their power up. It looks kind of fun. And it also teases on the back the, uh, the mecha. So that's cool. So that'll be neat. I'm running out of room here. Because I have so much packing material on this side. All right, looks like we got some more ultra vinyls. This is um, Delta Rise Claw. Is that what Delta? Yeah. Delta Rise Claw. Do we have a figure for him in here as well? It's falling off. Maybe the figure's not out yet. Oh yeah, here's the, uh, here we go. This is Griza, right? Griza. Yeah, this guy's cool. I don't remember if I have the full-size one of him or not, but I really like this one. I think that's pretty fun. Tommy Lulu in the chats. Is my wallet okay considering what's about to come with all Saber stuff? Yeah, not really. <laughs> if you pop the bubble in the mic, I'll give you a dollar. If I pop the bubble in the mic, I mean, all right. I can try. Um, let's see, do I have a single one? How's that for you? It's actually pretty loud. All right, next up we have the DX. Now, I still don't really know how to say this. Belly Rock? Belly Rock? It's like Belial, but then Rock at the end, because it's a, it's the Belial sword. Oh, there you go. Dollar Super Chat. Thanks, Cody. <laughs> Thank you very much. But anyway, I'm very excited for this. I think this is really cool. I think this is so goofy. Uh, and it looks like it has a ton of phrases that it says, so I'm really excited about that. So, this is going to be fun. It's basically like a sassy Saba. Um, next up, still in the Ultraman Z family, we have King Joe um, Storage Custom. So this is the guy that's going to be very sadly missing the very fancy Savenger that they just announced because this was moderately priced. 
And Savenger is like 125, which is bananas. This looks like it's been resealed. I don't know, it's probably just from the factory. But anyway, this guy looks fun. I'm very excited about this. It's smaller than the pictures made it seem. Oh, really? Yeah, he looks pretty much the same size as the rest of the vinyls and stuff. But, I mean, that's fine. I'm okay with it. That's what. That's how big you should be. Alright, it looks like there are two things left. Oh, this isn't as big as everyone made it. Well, it's pretty big, I guess. Dogoken Gekido. So this is like a giant buster sword. Makes me think of Final Fantasy VII. Also, it's for Kamen Rider Buster, so that tracks. And it comes with a book. What's the book called? Um, Genbu Shinwa? Wonder Ride book? Alright. Boom. Um, gotta love the Belial Sword. Best thing I got in the mail this week. Excellent. I had not gotten any Saber stuff. Oh, there's Saber stuff is fun. I'm loving Saber. Alright. So much packing material. And then the last thing in the box is the figurized Black War Greymon. Now this is, I'm assuming, just a repaint of the other War Greymon, but for some reason this box is much larger. Also, I unfortunately ordered but did not get the Metal Gururumon, so I'm kind of bummed about that. I have the Omnimon, I have the regular War Greymon, I have Black War Greymon, but I need Metal Gururumon, so I'm still hoping that that will eventually um, come in stock, but we shall see. He looks pretty cool, though. I like Black War Grandma. So let's do this. Now that this is empty, yes? All of this is going back in the box. There's so much of it. And I'll read your comments while I do this. Ain't nobody got time for that. Buster's Sword, that is, yes, my favorite Kamen Rider toy of all time. Oh, okay. You're a big fan of Buster's Sword? Excellent. Did you evolve into Ultimate? Got HL Jade on Black War Greymon. Yeah, Shook said she did too. And I got HL Jade on um, Black, or no, I keep saying Black, on Metal Garurumon. I need a Metal Garurumon. I think that's all of that. Oh, no, there's more here. So, oof, that is a lot of trash. But yeah, so that's a lot of stuff. Uh, probably, let's see. We have all of this. Um, I'll probably do these in the same video. Because there's really no reason to do the bookshelf and then go, oh, there's more bookshelf pieces. It's just, it is what it is. So I'll probably do all of these in one. Um, then I'll probably do... Uh, then I'll probably knock a bunch of stuff over. Alright, then we have two more Wonder Ride books. Where is the... Isn't the... Oh yeah, we got this and this. So that's at least one, two, three, four, five saber things. Not to mention blades. Uh, and then for, oh, and the buster sword. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven reviews for that. Then we've got King Joe and the Belial sword. And... Assorted vinyls for Ultraman. Then we've got two Diaclone things. We've got three Tomica cars. So much stuff. Oh, we also have 
the Delta Rise Claw uh, keys. So, probably... Saber stuff will probably happen first, then probably Ultraman stuff, then probably this, and then um, I still have a ton of other stuff. At any given time, I have like 25 to 30 things to review. I've still got Super 7 Ultimates, I've got Mecha Turtles in Time figures. I've got He-Man stuff, I've got the Spin Master Batman stuff, I've got Transformers. Um, what else is over there? See, got a Jurassic World action figure set, I got those Shoto GoGo5 figures. I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, hey man, just got out of the Japan Amaze live chat. Oh, okay, thanks, hey Shining Star. What was Japan Amaze talking about? I just got the belt from Gaim. Oh, very nice. Favorite item in this box? Um, probably something Saber related. Maybe the bookshelves. I'm kind of really excited, stupidly excited about the bookshelves. Uh, perfectly poppable bubble wrap not being popped. <laughs> That's true. What's your thoughts on Kamen Rider Kenzon from Saber? I don't know. I haven't seen the episode yet. I think it just aired. Um, but it looks fun. I think his weapon looks really cool. I like how it's either one sword or two swords, or you can put it together and make like a shuriken out of it. I think that's a really cool idea. So we'll see how that goes. Um, you almost all covered up by boxes. Should be a stock photo for toy collectors. It's true. It's like, eh, where am I? Um, when's the Chogok and Leopard on set coming out? I thought it was out already, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure, though. So they did one a while ago. And then they reissued it around the time that they did that Figuarts Arts uh, Supaidaman. And then they did the Mini Pla um, Leopardon, which I just reviewed today. I just put that up. I'm pretty sure they all came out around the same time because I've seen a lot of people online getting the Supaidaman Figuart. Art. And obviously the Mini Pla is up and out. So. I would assume that the Chogokin reissue is already done. I didn't get it. Um, I missed the pre-orders. It's really expensive, so I was only mildly toying with the idea anyway. And then the pre-orders went up on HOJ like while I was asleep overnight. Because I was thinking, I was like, I don't really buy figure arts, but I kind of want the Spider Man because I love that. And then I was thinking about also getting the Soul of Chogokin Leopard on. But then I was like, you know what? If I have the the mini plot, I don't really need the Soul of Chogokin. The mini plot is great. I love it. They did a great job with it. And uh, I just, I don't need to spend all that extra money for something that's just as good. Um, I mean, it's it's good in a different way. Obviously, the Soul Jagokin offers, you know, die cast and more, probably more articulation or whatever. But I'm perfectly happy with the mini plot. And uh, I just missed the figure art pre order. So if it ever shows up again, maybe, but I don't know. Uh, he was just hanging out because he's leaving for Disney tomorrow. Oh, really? Okay. Favorite Saber suit? That's tough. Um, I don't know. I think it's too early to decide which one's my favorite. I mean, I like them all for different reasons. Uh, Blades is blue. It's my favorite color. Plus, he's got a big lion on his chest, which is kind of neat. Uh, I like Saber's suit a lot. Uh, Espada's looks cool. I really like Buster's suit, too. I don't know. They're all really good. Uh, they were talking about how bad Kenzon's actor is. Oh, really? I did feel like in the in the preview, he's on his cadence was weird. He just like shut up. He's like Henshin, and I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, but I did feel like he came off a little goofy uh, in the in the preview from last week. So maybe if that's what they're talking about, I can maybe agree. But I haven't seen the episode yet, so I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. I don't know if it's that's maybe the character is supposed to be goofy and he's nailing it, or maybe just the actor's a little goofy. I don't know. Time will tell, I guess, on that. Um, I need a rider with a crossbow. That's true. You don't really see too many crossbows. You see a lot of bow and arrow, like full on bow and arrows, but not so many crossbows. I'd be down, I'd be down for it. The last. Okay, they were talking about. Duh, duh, duh. 
Oh yeah, got my first handful of ultra vinyl, so that might be money sink I made for myself. Yeah, the the nice thing about the ultra vinyls is they're not crazy expensive. So even if you buy like ten of them, you're out like fifty bucks. Like it's not the end of the world. <laughs> so uh, it's as far as a, a collection to have or a, a rabbit hole to fall down, it's one of the cheaper ones. So we got that going for you. I don't like saber suit. Oh no, you don't like saber suit. The base suit or like any of the power-up suits? That's right, Dino Rider 2021. <laughs> I still think that would be such a funny idea. Like, make him like an archaeologist or something, and he discovers, uh, you know, the, the driver or something. Kind of like how Kuga's, you know, driver was like an archaeological, archaeological discovery. And then I would love the gimmick to be like something in the, like little dinosaurs. And then how the toys would work, like, so you buy, like, whatever the gimmick is, and almost like the Arms Change series where, like, you have the figure, then you have the little dinosaur, and then the dinosaur comes apart into little different armor pieces, and then you snap, like, maybe the dinosaur's head is a shoulder pad, maybe the tail is another shoulder pad, and then you click it on, uh, like, the Arms Change line. Instead of the, the fruit becoming the armor, it would be a little dinosaur you take apart and become little armor or something like that. I just thought it would be fun. I mean... Dinosaurs, I feel like, are always a, a cash grab, and I don't. I feel like Ryder's never done dinosaurs, so I feel like it's a no-brainer to eventually do dinosaurs. I don't know. That's right. Keep the dream alive. That's right. Oh, you don't like the base suit? Okay. The suits for Saber are pretty neat. Buster is pretty neat. I love where Saber just says, "Holy crap!" when he takes out the bad guy, he slashes down in the middle. Also, I don't like Zero One suit because of the neon yellow. Oh, I love the neon yellow. What's with PR having an actress be blonde mandatory? I don't know. I don't know that that is mandatory. I think they just... Maybe they just want them to be distinguishable more so. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Why does PR do most of what it does? Let Sentai do dinos. Let Ryder for bugs. I guess that's true. Prehistoric bugs will meet in the middle. You don't like neon colors? Well, you are not a child of the 90s, then. You can't be. Well, 80s slash 90s. Like, neon neon and Dago colors, were they more... I guess they're probably, like, late, late 80s, early 90s. I don't like them on everything. But I like them on Zero One. Teal and purple were the colors of the 90s. That's true. Uh... Charlotte Hornets, teal and purple. They look they, they look good together, man. Those colors look good together. Like, I don't follow sports at all, but I used to like the Charlotte Hornets just because I thought their mascot, like, it was like an angry-looking uh, Hornet. He looked, it was just a cool uh, mascot design, and I loved the colors. Teal and, and purple were definitely good colors together. Put the Zero One suit under a black light, and you have a rave on your hands. It's true. That's true. That is basically like in the opening when he's like, it's like an all black room. It's basically like a black light bringing that out. Neon colors is hard on my eyes. I am not an 80s, 90s kid. See, I knew it. I knew it. Because if you were, you would love neon colors. I mean, it's all right. Don't get me wrong. You don't like neon colors or not for everybody. I get it. Um, okay, so is that? I guess that's everything. Do you guys have... Like, what's... Of all the stuff that I do, what do you guys like to see the most as far as reviews? Like... Do you prioritize, like, Ryder over Ultraman and Sentai? Do you like Japanese toys more so over American toys? Um, you know, what do you guys like to see the most? I'm just curious. I'm a 2000s kid. Ryder, okay, we have one vote for Ryder. Like, do you guys like when I do, like, the, like, Super 7 toys and the He-Man and the Ninja Turtles and that kind of stuff? I mean, I'm still going to buy them because I love them. I'm just wondering what do you guys like the most as far as videos go. I'm down for anything, but it would be neat to see Super 7 stuff. Okay, so we got one. Mostly, I've seen a lot of Rider, one vote for Ultra, one vote for Super 7. Okay. So pretty much just keep doing what I'm doing. Just business as usual. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I do have a Super 7 Thundercats uh, or Lino that I've already shot. So that'll be up either tonight or tomorrow. Alright, but I'm seeing a lot of 
do you pre-order the Grey Skull? Yes, I did. I, I try to, Adam. I do try to alternate. I try to do, you know, if I do a Transformer one day, I try to do something Toku the next day or one of each the same day. Or, like, you know, throw a Super 7. I do try to alternate. I try to mix it up so I'm not... The only time I really, like, say it's a new show, like, say the new rider just happened, well, and I get all that first wave, I'm going to do all that stuff right away because it's the new hot item. Um, but for the most part, I try to alternate. With this stuff, I'll probably focus on rider a little bit just because, again, it's, this is new and, and fun. But I'll be peppering in some Ultraman and, and other stuff. And then once I probably work through this Toku, I'll probably get back to uh, the Transformers and the He-Man and stuff. Let's see what I have over here. Uh, and I have some more Earth Banner stuff as well. So. Um, review Mount St. Mini plot first and forget the rest before it's too late. That's kind of true. Um... Mount St. Mini Plus starting to lose structural integrity. Just Wow, I just noticed that's falling a lot. That's not good. I mean, it doesn't have anywhere to go. If it falls, it's just going to fall into the shelf. But It is true. I really do need to start getting on this stuff. So I really should um, get on the at least the Soto figures get on the Soto figures, because I have so many, I have like a bunch of uh, Gal, um, Guy Galgar, Guy Galgar, Gar Gal, right, Guy Galgar, Gal Gygar, Gal Gygar, that's it, the Brave series, <laughs> they did a bunch of mini plot for them, super mini plot for them fairly recently, and uh, they all looked really, really cool. I just, anytime Super Mini Plus, like, we did this random robot from some anime, I'm like, damn, that looks really cool. And I get it, and then I just never have time to build it. Like, the Go Soars, um, I did the first one, and it's great, I love it. But then there's two more that I have to do, and there's so much Soto. So, yeah. Why is this new? Oh, I, I know why, it's just because that's not the same height. Okay. Anyway. If there's a god, please let it collapse on the stream so that I can laugh. Wow. Thanks, Cody. <laughs> By the power... Yes, I love I love the He-Man stuff going on in the chat right now. Yeah, that's what I... That's kind of the problem. Like, I, I tend to... I, I've gotten behind, and then new stuff comes in. I try to stay on top of that, so then the old stuff just gets older and older, and then I wonder if anyone cares anymore. So. There, it's true. So many toys. I mean, that's the thing. I have all these toys to review... Try to keep up with video games as they come out. Uh, TV shows, you know, there's just never enough time for anything. Comic books, I'm so far behind on comics. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, anyway, so... Oh, and the Power Rangers. I'll probably do the Power Rangers sometime soon. Once MMPR Black comes in, I'll do that wave as one video, and then I will do uh, Dino Thunder White once the helmet comes in, which should be very soon. Yeah, I love the new He-Man stuff. Um, the Origins is great. Those little figures I want to try to get. And um, eventually they're going to start doing, um, I think, 6-inch figures. Mattel's going to make their own 6-inch figures. So We'll see how that goes. But yeah, definitely, uh, like I said, the, the review for Leopardon just went up. I have a Super 7 Lion-O. I'm going to be doing the, the Batmobile that uh, Spin Master sent me tomorrow for sure. And then if I have time, also I'm going to do probably these, these bookshelves tomorrow. So that's where I'm at. But yes, so that's probably going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you had fun. Um, I'm going to have to find a way to the camera so I can actually turn this off. Because I can't get out of here. I've built myself an impenetrable fortress. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening. There we go. The, the minis are neat, and I can't wait for Wave 2. 
more <laughs> packing material. <laughs> it never ends. All right, here, this one's for you, Cody. That was even louder than the last one. Dang, that was loud. All right, anyway, yes, the minis are cool. Now, see, I have a few of the minis because um, they did them a while ago in, like, two packs with a Build-A-Fig piece of a little Castle Grayskull diorama type thing. So I have a few of them, and I'm pretty sure it's the same art style and everything. So the minis, they kind of took, I think they did, like, eight from that line. And they're peppering in a few more and then just re-releasing them as a way to get them out again. So I won't need all of them, um, but I'll probably get some duplicates. But I want the little Ram Man. Why not just take a day for one thing, Monday, Soto, Tuesday, Rider? I've thought about that, too. Um, I just worry about running out of something. So that's why I didn't want to dedicate. Um, plus, I don't know that I could, like, build a mini plot on time every week, if that makes sense. Oh, my camera's dying. Um, so yeah, so I'll have to figure something out, but one day, one day I'll get caught up. Um, I think it's just what happened was there was like two months where just everything came out, like August and September and even now October with Sabre, I just got bum rushed because there was a time when I was very caught up and then it all just came at me. So, um, yeah, I'm still struggling <laughs> to get out from under that, but it's going to be a thing. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Um, thank you again, Cody, for the super chat. Um, and everyone, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. And like I said, be on the lookout for um, the stuff that I mentioned. Definitely uh, Super 7 uh, Lion O is already shot and getting ready to come out. Uh book uh saber bookshelves and probably the spin master batmobile so after that we'll probably lean back into saber so see you guys soon stay a uh, link to the channel for all those good reviews and i will talk to you later so again thank you for joining like share subscribe all that good stuff and uh talk to you later guys thanks as always bye